I want you right now to make sure you're paying close attention to what's happening because if what happens happens that I anticipate will happen and I hope will happen and I pray will happen and I think will happen, you're going to see the complete and total collapse of a number of things. First of all, the legacy, as I mentioned before, about the Barack Obama power structure, how he is this behind-the-scenes Democratic powerhouse. He doesn't control anything. Obviously, if he could, he would persuade Joe to give it up immediately without a fight. Number two, the, the complete and total uselessness, the osseous quality, the ossified, concretized uselessness of the Democratic National Committee and how they basically have been, they've given way to the shadow government and this ridiculous, stupid messaging regarding stuff that I don't even know what it is. It was this, and I always tell you, there is a group of people, the shadow government, Police state, intel state, shadow government, ruling class, who, globalists, I, I, communists, Satanists, whoever these people are, whatever you want to call them, I call them the shadow government. The shadow government comes in and they take over, in essence, they take over this Democratic National Committee, the Democratic corporeal entity, the corpus, the body, the cellular structure of it. And they injected and rewire the DNA to accommodate and to promote a variety of different topics and ideas that have no idea that have no connection with anything. Nothing. No connection. No no part of anything. They're not connected with anything. It's an agenda that is nothing but destroying the fabric, the foundation, and the the interstitial and the abecedarian aspects of our society. But in addition to that. Part and parcel, an accomplice, an agent of this, somebody who is who is a, who aids and abets this, has been the legacy media, the sock puppet media, the cable news media. For years and years, these folks have acted as compatriots, as co-defendants in this horrible, terrible, sick world that we live in. And what's going to happen after this election is going to be the following. The end, the complete and total end of the radical left, horrible world of this demented sock puppet media that act as surrogates and proxies and representatives of the shadow government. Not trying to provide you with the news and the truth and all that. They have no interest in that. What they are trying to do and what they have done is to provide a, a service in that services, they are the official propaganda tool of the shadow government. That's exactly who they are. And when you tell people that at first, it sounds it sounds pretty far fetched to the untrained ear, because people believe that you know the media are there to help. And the worst examples of this, the worst prevaricators, the worst and most flagrant violators of this particular aspect. Um, are Joe and Meager from that horrible show on MSDNC, Mourning Joe, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. We're mourning the loss of what used to be a decent guy, Joe Scarborough, who at one particular time in his life was a, was a conservative of sorts who sold his soul to the devil in order to position, along with his absolute, vapid, termagant wife, Meager, this show that nobody watches except the 12 elites in D.C. and others who watch it, who think it's somehow a, a, a valid version and reflection of what America thinks. To make a long story short, my dear friend, I explain to you as follows this, and this is very critical for you to understand. There is a, a change that is happening, and I've been saying this for a long time. The pendulum is going to swing back like a wrecking ball. You're going to see reactions from people and from institutions and from demographics who for the longest time have said nothing. They have not been a part of any kind of active, um, intellectually violent, not physically violent, but this intellectually violent and philosophically violent reaction to this. But you're going to be seeing it right now. People who are rejecting, people who are just throwing away, people who are absolutely positively, without a doubt, rejecting outright any and all aspects of our world in which they, these people, 
find themselves. Now realizing that one of the biggest proponents of this fraud, and don't ask me why people had to wait till June the 27th to realize that Joe Biden was brain damaged, but better late than never. But the people who were part and parcel of this fraud, the people who are responsible for conducting, promoting, promulgating, and advancing these lies, this this coordinated, uh, synchronized mendacity, were and are the legacy media, the sock puppet media, the mainstream media, the cable news media. They will forever, forever be affected, tainted, contaminated, and scarred by this. And for the forever, they will always be thought of as follows. Whenever there's a race, whenever there's any kind of particular theory that is advanced, they will say, oh, you mean just like Joe Biden wasn't sick? Oh, you mean like Joe Biden wasn't crazy? Oh, you mean like, like Joe Biden was sharp as a tack? You mean like that? Is that what you mean? Is that what you're suggesting? Oh, you mean like that? They will never be able to live this down. They will never be able to live this down. I promise you, as long as you live and I live, you will be shocked at how they will forever be made to pay for this. You are going to see, as I said, the end of legacy media, sock puppet media, uh, cable news media, the end of the DNC, the end of this iteration of the Democratic Party and how they have completely abandoned what used to be at one point, rational, rational, uh, democratic and progressive ideology. And also you're going to see the end of this myth, this fantasy, that somehow Barack Obama's in charge of anything. Joe Biden is barricading himself in the White House. And nobody can get him out. Why? Because nobody's in charge. Nobody. And this is the happiest day of my life.